And then if you try to predict that, uh, well, you're the one who's gonna mess up, so... <laughs> yeah. That's why I usually just a B straight into the blast zone. <laughs> try to predict <laughs> me now. <laughs> You will never <laughs> expect this. Okay, but we're getting right into it. Trip versus Meaty, back to FOD. Yeah, and we're gonna see a lot of uh, heavy neutral in this matchup with both these players looking for their one opening, which is gonna make something huge. Massive pressure from Triff already in the corner here. Fourth throw into dash attack. I didn't even know that was a thing. Peach mains uh, probably screaming right now. Peach Discord is blown up. Yeah. Can't believe this commentator didn't know anything about Peach. <laughs> oh, a little cheeky grab combo going here. Into an F smash as well. Decent percent. Oh, that was scary for Triff. And Midi in a pretty decent position now, keeping Triff in the corner. Great dash dance around that dash attack from Triff. Yeah, Triff was looking pretty antsy there with the double uh, spot dodge into dash attack. Looked like he was very scared of what was coming. Yeah. Although I did feel like Meaty was giving a little bit too much position away for Triff. And that's a stitch face. Misses it, though. But that Nair will do it. And now Triff just farming some turnips. Oh, now this is scary, right? Like, oh. you, you trade blow for blows, but now you're a stock behind versus Triff. And now he, now it's the trade zone. Yeah, but you saw as well that power shield with the turnip. That was pretty nice. It was True. almost the perfect angle to go back to Triff. Oh, that was a great fair from the ledge. Nice patience from Meaty. Triff staying tricky on shield, crossing up and going for that down smash just to uh, sort of wear away at it. That's Ooh. one factor of shield pressure a lot of people don't talk about, which is the uh, if you just wait around and your opponent's holding shield, you know, their shield is is burning away, so. For sure. Yeah, Meaty did just miss his, uh, his pivot tipper, so that's not a great sign. Triff staying patient here, but Meaty just Ooh. catching him with that tipper F smash coming in from the corner. Oh, great patience from Meaty, and wow, I, I can't believe he actually got that Varian, but it wasn't a great trade, honestly. Yeah, now Triff putting on the pressure here in the corner as well, just putting Meaty's back to the wall, although Meaty managed to get back to center stage. Yeah, that was crazy. The way he got back to center stage was pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> the re-grab from Triff on that turnip as well. Good patience, but I feel like Meaty's not taking the opportunities that, that he needs here. I mean, the patience yeah. is good and all, but if you don't do anything with it, it's uh, it's not so beneficial. Maybe he's a little bit too patient, giving Triff a little bit too much stage presence. Yeah, or not believing in, in their uh, in their ability to punish Triff coming in early. Wow, great patience from Triff as well with the turnip wall. Oh. Yeah, Triff making it very difficult for Meaty to make any uh, advance on the stage here. Although, a decent fair, but now off stage and you're in a really bad spot. Yeah, this turnip wall that Triff's just putting up right now is crazy. And oh, Meaty oh, does wow. not... Yeah, Meaty didn't find a way to get through it. And, and Meaty just got killed by turnips alone. Oh man, and Triff's just, uh, just playing his game right now. Yeah, waiting out that get-up attack and going in with the forward air. Really nicely done. Doesn't manage to get the trade, I imagine, that, that he was looking for there on the edge guard. I do like the way that Triff mixes up with the way he comes off platforms. You know, there's always the classic shield drop there, as we just saw, but also just going off the side of the platform, floating for a second, and then coming back in, you know, just mixing up the timing of when you're coming down. You have the tools as Peach to do that, so you might as well make your options as tricky as possible. Yeah, for sure. And Triff backing off again, just opting to pull more turnips. And uh, tech on more damage on Meaty's uh, second to last stock. This is looking not very good for Meaty. Pretty grim. Oh, and that forward air will kill. And again, Triff at high percent, but no end in sight for Meaty here unless an F smash might be able to do it, but that's just too weak, too weak of a hit. Oh no, that back air is not going to send up far enough. Triff should be able to get back from this. Yeah, top platform helps uh, helps out Triff there. 
at 170. It's a massive rinse and repeat, but that up air will do it and close out the stock. Two stocks to one now. Meaty's got quite a mountain to climb. Yeah, the scary part is that Triff is definitely uh, willing and able to uh, to play the, the long game as well. Just, you know, stay in the corner, pull turnips, just like that. But great tipper, actually. Raw tipper in neutral. Exactly, but that, that turnip stretch just works so well because Triff knows how to dominate the space. You know, really have this commanding presence that makes you feel as though you can't approach. You know, there is no way to get in without putting yourself in a bad position. Oh my oh. god. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I thought wobbling wasn't allowed. <laughs> and he was just tacking on so much damage from that as well. You know, like, yeah. oh, you made it back, but now you're at 120, so <laughs> good luck. All right. Well, that was a very, very good showing from Triff. His turnip game is so crazy. Like, it's daunting to look at as well. And it seems like very, very hard to deal with for Meaty. Yeah, I mean, uh, Marth's uh, item throw in general is not so great. Some characters would opt for, uh, you know, maybe grabbing a turnip in the air as a mix-up, doing something with it. But it's not, you know, a lot of people argue it's not really worth it as Marth to go for those sort of options. I mean, you have the surprise factor of like, wow, you, you know, you grabbed my turnip. Nobody ever really does that as Marth. But yeah. at the same time, it's not that great of an option. You wouldn't want to put yourself at a disadvantage state against Triff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, just having a turnip as Marth is just not so great. Yeah. Although you can, like, catch it and immediately drop it to, like, negate the hitbox, but it's also, like, very high APM and precise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Again, putting the risk of putting yourself in a bad spot against Triff is just uh, yeah. not worth it. Because again, Look at this, Triff is literally oh just standing still throwing turnips. And even there, the the grab ended up interrupted by the turnip. Oh, but Meaty just answers back real quick. Oh, oh and nice the timing. I love it. Let's go, Meaty. Yeah, Meaty's saying, go ahead, you know, throw those turnips. See what happens. <laughs> Oh, you, you know what? Just oh wait, no. The scary part about Triff just pulling turnips is because is that uh, Triff can pull a stitch phase eventually. Yeah, exactly. You really have to watch out. Or a beam sword, even. I mean, in this situation, a beam sword would be very nice. Yeah, you fight fire with fire and sword with sword, right? Yeah, exactly. Some would argue sword with shield, but they don't know. True. Another one? Not quite. Oh, that was an unfortunate hitbox. And Meaty offstage now. This is a bad spot for Meaty. Triff goes back to his old strategy. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. True. No jump on Triff. Let's see if uh, Meaty can do anything with it. No. Great way to come down from uh, from that pretty bad position from Triff. Yeah, Triff not budging there. Oh, and the stitch comes out. Oh, there it is. Doesn't manage to connect it, though. I mean... But it was a lot of pressure, so... Yeah. That's That also accounts for something. Meaty staying patient, staying grounded, not trying to challenge Triff in the air. Oh my god, these turnips. And Triff the spacing, the dodge that forward smash, and now oh this my brutal god. edge guard. He's edge guarding from the middle of the stage. This is what they call two framing in melee. Oh! More turnips. Oh man, Meaty's having such a hard time to deal with these turnips. Yeah, Triff picked up on that so hard and again he's gonna exploit that weakness in Meaty's game plan here yeah relentless I mean 188 oh any trade now is bad for Meaty I mean you do not want to get hit by Peach and that's gonna oh, do it should we stock yep all right oh and the dot eyes as well not getting anything out of it either Again, I think at this point, Triff really isn't concerned about what turnips he's pulling, but rather uh, the, the quantity, you know? Yeah, I was, I was going to say, just the amount. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the uh, items thrown statistic. Oh, man. Yeah, and Meaty is just very slowly losing, uh, losing the lead. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have the lead, but I mean, like, the lead is just expanding. Also, it goes without saying, but it takes so much more than just being able to, you know, pull these turnips and throw them. You have to really understand your opponent and understand how they're trying to approach in order to make a yeah. strategy like this work. And Triff is just 
in Midi's head right now, it seems. Yeah, wow. And immediately, like, that, j that option right there, throwing a turnip and actually approaching for the first time in a while, immediately mixing up Midi right there. Immediately? Immediately. <laughs> I guess his name that's is like good. That's a good one. That is a good one. It's a subtle one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta have a very high IQ to get that one. <laughs> oh, another Just... huge punish here from Triff. This is looking curtains. And the stitch as well. Oh man, just burned me shield completely. Normally, I would say two stitches in one game are, is lucky, but not in this case. Nice stall there from. Wow, nice stall from Triff, but Meaty was actually uh, a few yeah, steps ahead of Triff there. Nice stall from both players, really. They both were just trying to play the waiting game there. Oh, Meaty found a way in. Okay, let's see how much damage you can rack up here. Twelve, a whopping twelve. That's how okay, much. Okay, it's twenty-seven. It's forty-one. All right, that's a lot more. He actually caught the turnip. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I was thinking maybe Meaty was going to opt for a dare there offstage, but I guess at this percent it wouldn't have been enough. Remember how oh, this game okay. started? The game just started with Meaty just dunk dunking on Triff, and, and then Triff just ran away with the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean, Triff realized, you know, like, it's the game plan that works, I'm sticking to it. And now Meaty going to try something different, going to Yoshi's story instead, I guess, just opting for the uh, earlier kills here. Yeah, less space for Triff to pull turnips, which is a smart idea, prob probably. Yeah, and you have, uh, you have new confirms here, where uh, on the platforms you're able to get these tip wrap smashes at higher percents to guarantee that, at a certain point at least, you can close out a stock. Marth's item throw is so slow. Yeah. Oh, great light shield there. Actually, not getting shield poke there from the jabs. Manages to get back to ledge, I mean... It's not looking great for Meaty, but a lot of chances here to uh, turn this around in the first stock. Oh, barely getting that grab out in time to, to catch Meaty, but oh. not getting the tech chase. Yeah, good spot dodge for Meaty to get out of that situation, and this is looking pretty decent so far. Uh, with Triff having less space to grab turnips, the neutral game is a bit more skewed into Meaty's favor. Wow, Another great cool, yeah. But Triff closing that stock out, just not letting the lead get too big here. I mean, firmly trying to stay in control of this game. Oh, nicely done by Meaty to back up there on the get-up attack. Not on this one, though. Does get clipped by it, and now Triff can attack on some pressure. Oh, this is a good spot for Meaty. No jump on Triff, and a great fast fall there from Triff to get back to stage, get his jump back, get his float back. Yeah, and get through platform as well, I think most crucially. You saw Meaty there fishing for the up tilt through platform, which, you know, as a tipper is going to do some damage. Oh, this is not a great spot for Meaty. Let's see if he can get back to stage. Oh, luckily he got his shield up in time. That was very close to being another edge guard situation. Oh, yeah, no, that was... Old throw now, and... Uh... Triff catching him with the turnip as well. Oh, great side beat timing, but he doesn't manage to get back to the ledge. That's so unfortunate. Good stuff from Triff, though. I like the approach there from Triff, the turnip and trading with forward air, but now Meaty getting that up tilt is going to keep it close. That's all Meaty needs, you know. Just don't let Triff get too big of a lead and you're able to sort of uh, stay at the pace of the game, you know. You won't let Triff be able to dictate what's happening. Yeah, but that's easier said than done. As oh, you can definitely. see right now, the, the lead that Triff is building is just extending. Not able to close it out, though, so Meaty gets a second chance here. Oh, and the forwarder is going to send off. Now Triff again with a turnip, going to try and get the edge guard here. Oh, but rolls up. Ops to roll up. Oh, that's a great fair from Triff. Let's see if he can get this edge guard. No, good good recovery from Meaty. Yeah, Meaty's been doing a good job of uh, getting close to stage to avoid getting clipped by that turnip. Yeah. Uh, a little bit antsy approach there for Meaty, knowing that uh, Triff was going to go ahead and pull some more turnips. But, you know, Triff was ready with the shield. Oh, 
not quite able to get the forward smash. I like the idea because we saw as well Triff eager to get in for the counter hit. It could have been uh, a nice little tipper there. Oh man, Triff's spacing is so good. Spacing around the grab and actually being able to punish Marth is so difficult as Peach. Triff yeah. makes it look easy. But now Meaty on the ropes here. Again, really good recovery, hugging that, that wall to avoid getting clipped by the turnip, but not able to close this out. Yeah, it's Triff just immediately backing off as well, just getting some more turnips, putting the pressure on Meaty to approach. Oh, man. Oh, but Randall's here to help, and uh, help he does. I mean, look at that, he just gave oh. Meaty a great second chance. And now if Meaty can pull off something akin to that first game, uh, that second game on FD, that first combo, uh, we might be in for a game four here. Again, easier said than done. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's... Uh... Triff's, Triff's gonna put the pressure on again with the turnips. A bit of a pipe dream. Man, Triff's spacing is so sick. And now, yeah, the down smash will close that out, and that'll be the set 3-0 for Triff. Just a 3-0 fest so far. Yeah, very unfortunate for uh, for Meaty going 